recently a special watch list of countries that have engaged or engaged in or tolerated severe violations of religious freedom released by the United States on the which Nigeria was named. Um, the Nigerian government has, however, responded to this report saying the United States should face their own issues and that nobody appointed them the policemen of the world. Um, is this the best way to react to this report? Well, joining me once again is Daya Kayode, political technocrat. Now, Daya, my first question is, every time Nigeria is put on a list that is negative or something is said by somebody from another country, why is, all, why is our response the f very defensive instead of more of receptive and hoping, that, hoping to be better at it, whether those people got it right or wrong? Why are we always on the defense? Because the Nigerian government doesn't have what I call social coefficient. What does that mean? As we are. If you are t there is a relationship between us now. Mm -hmm. You are the host, I'm your guest. Mm -hmm. If I want to continue to be your guest, and you also want to continue to be my host, there are some guiding rules and regulations that, as friends, we must respect. Mm -hmm. Okay? For instance, you wouldn't want me to look tattered because you don't want a tattered person as your friend. Okay? Because in Yoruba, they always say something. If you show me your friends, then I will be able to know the kind of person you are. That is the essence or the old gamut about social coefficient. But we don't understand. But we, we're, a in, we're a country who has been around for so long. We're not a young country. Under the Jonathan administration, we celebrated 100 years of centenary. Yeah. Uh, aside from our democracy, we're a country that has enjoyed great relations with either trade or foreign relations with other countries, especially the US. Um, I remember recently where Amnesty International brought out a report about Nigeria and there was a group who came out to say that Amnesty International should leave Nigeria. Yeah. And this is not the first. The time that we were made the poverty capital of the world yeah. and uh, the ease of doing business, the whole of 2018, yeah. we, were on, we topped all the bad lists. Yeah. And every time the, the federal government released a statement, it was more defensive and as accusatory other than saying, oh, we'll look inwards, we'll get better, we're not as bad as you think. But the, the, the response is always really, really bad. And what does that say about us to the international community, especially this response from that, the federal that, government? That's the, that's the one I'm saying. You see, we, we don't see ourselves as belonging to a part of a community. We see things that we can be a Robinson Crusoe on an island. Forgetting that, even at a point, at a point, Robinson Crusoe was tired and God saved him by now bringing in some, uh, making a, another ship to wreck and all that, and they now joined him on the island, and from there they started coming together. Do you understand? There is no way Nigeria can stay on its own. But we always want to live in a fake paradise. You also, we always want to be what we are not. They are telling you, okay, look, this is the way we are seeing you. People that are looking at you will be in a better way to assess you. Okay? To assess you and tell you what is proper for you. Mm -hmm. All right? But when they're now telling you and you are discarding it, instead of you to evaluate what they, are, what they are talking to you about, evaluate it and improve upon it. Well, we're straight away. And here we are again. Look at it from the beginning. That Transparency International 
from there back to back to what one uh, ambassador said that uh, uh, Boko Haram Fulani explained there is a conspiracy theory and on which I had to mention it. Do you understand? Then down, 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 up to this one now. Now we are training it. Are we, are we not the poverty capital of the, of the world? Well, uh, let's go to what um, the U.S. Um, Secretary of State Mike Pompeo had to say about Nigeria on that list. Now, when they put us on that list, they, they made reference to the killings of Shiite protesters, the violence in Nigeria's middle belt as some of the reasons for the the stance that they've taken. Um, and let's look at these issues that they're making reference to. I, I, I spoke about this yesterday on the show about the people that have, lives that have been lost in the bid to protest and get government's attention. Um, whether it be for Shore, where we had a copper shot there, the policeman killed, and um, the, sh the, the Shiite protest, which a, a little girl who was going to school was caught in the crossfire. And of course, the issues in the middle belts, the Joss and even the Kaduna the, crisis. The NYC guy from Channel. The, the January one, the, the New Year gift that Nigeria had was killings in River State and killings in uh, Plateau simultaneously. Several lives were lost. And most of these things can be traced to either religious crisis or one, of, one thing or the other. And in the case of the, Sh the Shiites and, um, you know, the presidency and the DSS and, of course, El Zagzaki, uh, the world is watching. The world has been watching. Of course, the, the cases against him were still waiting to see it progress. But do you think that, that this government would have found a better way to deal with the issue of El Zagzaki? Was this an unavoidable thing or... Sure. Is it that this is the best way to handle it? Now, now, you know, I said something during the first segment. Shore has been released. Tasuki has been released. Why not El Zazaki? Also. All right? Now, all of them, all of them, they were having the same, the same, uh, how do I put it now? Uh, 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 issue with the federal government. The same issue in terms of court has already released them through bail. But you refuse releasing the three of them. But there are people who make a case. Now, there are people who would say that all these cases are not similar. In the case of Dasuki, it was a Kaduna state government that initiated the case. Whatever, whatever. And probably might lie with the Kaduna state government to release him. Whatever it is, whatever it is, it is a case of a religious leader a religious leader sorry let's go back let's go back a little bit the shia a muslim muslim there are two groups the shites and the sunnis, sunnis. Mm -hmm. the sunnis we look at them from the area of egypt saudi arabia and all that and the shites uh, Iran and Dereba, okay? The president, as the news I've been putting it, belongs to the Sunnis. As the news has been putting it, belongs to the Sunnis. While El Zazaki belongs to the Shiites. So once again, are we postulating that issue? No, of, when oh, you are explaining, when you are in, 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 in social science, when you want to explain, you have to base your explanation on some postulations. Okay. All right? Which is why you must come up with a concept that you will anchor your explanation on. Then look at, I look at what the president does. I'm sorry, I'm sorry did. to talk over you, but I have a question. When you are a president, whether you're a president of the U.S. or you're the prime minister of the when U.K. I'm, when I'm a president, hold on, hold on. Whether you are the president of Nigeria, which is a secular state because we're not either yeah. Christian or Muslim. Mm. We are, have traditionalists in this country. Mm. I tell you what. Should you, as a leader of a country, mm. be... Um, shouldn't you be detribalized because you're not the president of an ethnic group yeah. or a religious group? You're president of the people because all of the people who vote for you 
cut across all of these groups? Should that even be an issue? Because I, I'm trying to yeah, good. I said, challenge good, this. I said, good, that this, question. I'm challenging this Yeah, good, that question you just have. asked. That remind me in the morning, I was on a platform. And that same person was asking me, how do we get out of the problem we were discussing then? I said, the only thing we need to do is, one, develop a national philosophy and a national identity. How do we develop a national uh, philo uh, philosophy? As a lady, as a man, there is something that is common that we will all need. Okay? Freedom of speech, good roads, hospitals, good everything. Good standard of living, all right? Now, in as much as I can give that as a president, I doesn't give, it doesn't bother me which religion you belong to. Because if today I become the president of this country, honestly speaking, I will be practicing all the available religions. And even as of today, as of today, as, as much as I'm a Christian, if you are a Muslim, you are my friend, and I know that I got to improve on my social coefficient, if you invite me to Wasi, I will come. I do go to, to Wasi. There was a time I, somebody was preaching, you don't eat, you don't eat uh, Muslim uh, meat or whatever. I just did like this. I said, Banu, why will I not eat round with them? All right. Do we you have, understand? We have 30 seconds to go. How does Nigeria get out of this quagmire? Because it seems like um, every single day, if it's not one thing, it's the other. And now that these two have been released, of course, the next pressure will be on the presidency to release a Dasuki and every other person who's being held unnecessarily. Yeah. What's the way forward in, in 30 seconds? I just said it. The only thing is for us to have especially national philosophy how do we, upon how do which we, how do we intend to how do you intend for us to achieve that I'm, that is it you in see, the next three years of mr president being president it is possible by us by us coming up with a social contract with the government these are the things that we require and when you say these us, are the things we us? need I, the people how many of it's us about are the people it's about the people about the people so that when they are campaigning i'm, when, so, I'm listen, sorry that that you, i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry which people are you referring to? The ones who are in their homes? Which one? How many we, of us? How we, many of us are interested? The citizens. In the citizens. Listen, when you are talking about the people at home, are you at home? Am I at home? There are some of us that that are very, very passionate about this country. We got to develop that. Then, based upon that, every campaign. Either look at America. Either you are Republican. Either we're you not, are either you are Democrat. We're, we're Listen, America. either you are Democrat. We need to go now. They always say I'm an American. We need to go. We must be able to, to develop go. that. We need I to say go. I'm a Nigerian. Well, I want to thank you, Daya Kayode. Uh, he's a political uh, technocrat. Thank you very much for being part of the conversation. We have to go. We're out of time. Uh, we'll take a Is short it? break, and when we come back, we'll be. I'll be giving you my take. Stay with us. <laughs>
Well, it's time for my take. What a time to be alive. Shore, Dasuki, all released. I mean, it seems all of the protests and calls from different quarters have finally yielded something positive. But it doesn't end there, does it? We have to keep speaking up about these injustices, the bad governance, the paying of deaf ears to the hues and cries of Nigerians and subversion of justice, even the rule of law. Like I always say, dear Nigerians, nobody will come from Mars or even America or the UK to help you build your own Nigeria. We are the ones who will rebuild our Nigeria, no one else. I am Mary Anacom. It's been Plus Politics.